Hi, hi, yeah, it's me again, Salma, and we have the cushion mark because today it's not a compost product. We just found something cool on the website that can be used on our Pi devices, and I want to show it to you. For your information, this tutorial is an external project, so Compost did not support any troubleshooting related to this tutorial. So, our topic of today is is how to connect uh, the RoughPy to the RoughPy commander using the local network. But before, what is the RoughPy commander? I'm here to let you know. It's a PLC software based on Python. After some testing and playing around with uh, the system, the first serious application of industrial application had already emerged and made to learn new more about some of the uses of the RoughPy devices. The software was created by Sven Zaga. But what we need? For sure, a RoughPy device, mine is the Connect, your PC, an Ethernet cable and jet set. So, something really I want you to know that your rough pie will not connect it to any internet, it's just your local net network. And we are ready to do it. Let's start. Like a first step, you will go to the rough pie mod .io website, you will find the link in the video description, and then downloads. Revolution Pi Commander. Download your the software in your machine. I'm using the Windows, so I will uh, click on this. And if you have the Mac or uh, Linux machine, you will have how to download download it here. So done. More for on anyway. For me, I will select install for all users, so you can choose only you or all users. More credentials. Okay, I will choose the English language. Accept the agreement. And next, create desktop shortcut and install. Yeah, finish. And then rough pie commander. Okay. Yeah. So here, go to File, search for Revolution Pi, and here you can find your um, Revolution Pi IP address. So go to Connect to the Rough Pi, and yeah, it's connected. So. We need to do something with the pictorial configuration. So we will go to PLC and then pictorial configuration. And there is like um, a, st um, a, a page will be opened in your browser. So uh, it's normally it will be like this. You will add the username, admin, and the rough pi um, password. Login. And then go to services and please enable the rough pipe payload because normally you will find it like this, but just enable it and save all. Done with the um, pictory. So we will go to apps and then you will choose the pictory. And here, if you am using the Mm, the connect if you have like for example with it like do or ao or whatever you have just add it here and you will see all your input and out, uh, outputs so 
For me, no, I didn't use it. I don't have right now the Geo, just I have the um, connect. So file, save as start config, and then tools, the reset driver, yes, and that's it. Now you will return to the PLC, to um, the RFPy commander on the PLC side. So if you have like files uh, on your uh, local computer and you want to send it to your RFPy, now it's really easy to do it. Just go to the PLC uh, developer and from here, as you can see, I just used before, uh, you can go to this open developer root directory and and he choose your your file for me I just create a Python script in which it just it's just doing the flushing of the iron sled on the rough pipe connect just just it and you will find the um, Python script uh, in the video description. So select it, go to this button, stop, uh, uh, upload and start. So if you have already something uh, open it or running in the uh, Python uh, on the Revolution Py, sorry, it will be stopped and then uploaded and then started. That means the um, Python script, or will, it will be running on your rough Py. So just like this, and now we have it. It's now running here, and you can do like in the other in the other uh, direction. If you have something you know, on your rough Pi and you want it in your local computer, just press this button. So like uh, a double transfer between the rough Pi and your local computer. So now you will go to start and PLC watch mode and go to the rough Pi connect plus S and you can see here the rough pie led it's related to the, to the A1 um, led on your rough pie connect uh, switching between the 0 and 129 that means it's like flashing green when you can see it on your hardware it's like normal script I do I did it just for example to to show you and explain explain you how you can do the transfer between your local computer to the rough pi or vice versa okay uh also as you can see here the rough pi status it's like one that means it's on uh and power cycle the the core temperature the frequency there are areas for eight five errors um you can get some some info uh, about your uh rough pi and now what we can do else so if you have for example for example program and you want to uh, to upload uh, uh, on your rough pi just go to plc program and then uh, your program should be in the zip uh, file so from here upload and then i have mine zero is doing the same thing that i just did it here so i the same script but just in in zip open transfer successfully and then okay and then go to start and yeah it's running doing the same thing as you can see so it's really easy to do and yeah i hope you you learn something new today from me i hope that you enjoyed the video with me today see you soon on our next videos a très bientôt ciao ciao